Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today is about Town Hall 13 and Queen Charge Lalo. Queen Charge Lalo is not completely out of the game. It's used in a couple of different scenarios, and we're going to see four of them today. Uh, well, four attacks today. We're going to start with the YOLO mode versus Eins. Uh, we're going to look at attacks by Enemy, one of the members of my Town Hall 11 championship team. I ended up getting the victory in the Town Hall Cup. And he came in here with a six pack of Queen Charger Lalo in order to get the uh, to get the victory or to get the tie against Eins, who were able to perfect us first. So he starts with a CC lure on this base. Taking down the hound and the ice golem, just taking up a bit of time. Didn't have to use uh, many spells for it. Use the queen charge with the jump on this side because otherwise you'd have to get the queen uh, otherwise the queen would not be able to reach this scatter shot and would end up being able to attack the healers. Or the queen would just go awry and hit the air defense first after uh, walking around the wall and then heading over to the cannon would be possible. But in this case he's able to use the jump and that gets the queen into the eagle and the town hall and the second inferno or the first inferno as well so massive value there and then we're able to start the queen uh to start the lalo from around seven o'clock so you can see the huge uh mess uh in the middle of the base that the queen just cleaned up on her own with a couple of spells and the lalo is just going to walk around the outside and just take care of the outside buildings. He started with a group uh, right at 7 o'clock, and then he also added groups, a lot of groups from the flank over at 5 o'clock to 3 o'clock. This is to try to keep the inside group on the inside. Unfortunately, it was a little bit late, but it's totally fine because the queen got so much value in the middle that it hardly even matters how he finesses the Lalo. It's still going to triple no matter what. Using the Warden ability over the Scatter Shot, even though the Scatter Shot uh, takes down or targets the Queen, but that's totally fine. It is a crushing blow to this base. Uh, this Queen Charge Lava was a great attack, a great idea, and a great war by Anony. Uh, second attack we're going to watch is also going to be by Anony. Uh, next is going to be by Gaku in one of our One Hive Wars. And then uh, one of my attacks in Legend League. Uh, later on, probably tomorrow, I'll release about a couple of days worth of Legend League Queen Charge Lalo attacks. I experiment experimented with it a bit, and it could, it got quite a bit of success. Um, I copied the army from Gaku actually, and you know any army that Gaku uses is bound to be strong in Legend League. So I tried it and got a couple of triples from it. Next attack uh, is enemy again against Eins in this perfect war. Starting with the queen from 12 o'clock, taking down the Tesla farm and walking into this eagle, ar eagle artillery. After the eagle, she is taking on all the expos and eventually with the help of this jump spell, she's going to be able to get to the Town Hall and the Sweepers. Uh, getting into the middle, taking down the Town Hall is really important here, because otherwise it's kind of hard to try to get troops to the middle, and also to get troops to the side at the same time. Especially since the CC and the Queen are both non-defense targeting buildings. So the loons wouldn't actually pass to the town hall if you were to just uh, blanket the outside, the left side, with loons and then just path them through. They probably wouldn't go to the town hall, and you have to save like the blimp or something for it. But he's actually able to use the extra CC troops in on the outside by the uh, loons to help them get through the base. Warden ability over the scatter shot, yet again. Very important use of the Warden ability. 
If you're not able to get both scatter shots with the queen, which is the ideal scenario, then you'll have to use the warden ability to get through one of those. Late freeze and haste by, for the loons. I'm able to power them through the back end of the base to the Inferno Tower and to the air defense. And the Royal Champion with some healers are going to try to get through this king, but not quite. The uh, RC is not, that's not, not that powerful. And these loons are going to be able to get through the Wizard Tower. And with the help of this dragon, there's going to be no problems at all. Actually, the dragon doesn't catch that haste spell, so it's going to be stuck on the inside of the base. While the rest of the loons and minions clean up. Tells a great war by uh, Anony. He's able to clutch up the tie for uh, Yolobone. Here, Gaku against Mikoto. Mikoto is a top Japanese clan we faced in CWL Elite Division. Uh, CWL, the Community Champions Ward League, is what it's uh, what it stands for. It's a community-run league that has been since the start of Friendly Wars a couple of years ago. Now it's on Season 8, and this is the first week of Wars. Uh, this one with Makoto is from the Elite League, as I said. Uh, the Yolo Mode War was from the Premier League, which is uh, the Dip League that's right below Invite League. So there's Premier League, Invite League, and uh, this one is Elite League. There are many other leagues, but that's not the point in the video. We're going to be watching Gaku get it done here. It's identified here that the Queen is going to bang through this wall no matter what else happens, as long as he funnels the outside correctly. So he just gets the queen into the top compartment with wall breakers, and she's going to break herself into the middle. Uh, in the middle there, she can reach both scatter shots and the eagle artillery, so it's a huge, ridiculous value at the top. And then after that, he just has the sweepers to deal with. So that is the only, uh, the only problem for this base after taking down the scatter shots and stuff. So starting with the Stone Slammer, as we saw with the other couple of attacks, Stone Slammer takes up a bit of tanking and adds a lot of CC troops, so you want to make sure that the Stone Slammer goes down at some point. I mean, if if you overpower the base so much that you don't need the Stone Slammer to go down, then that's fine. But usually you want to break it early, but not too early, of course. You don't want to unnecessarily... Uh, add damage or take hit points away from the stone slammer, but you do want to drop it early so then the CC loons can take effect on your Lalo and make it so much stronger. Warden Billy right over the town hall. Since there's no scatter shots left, we definitely want to take down the town hall with the Warden Billy popped. So this huge, huge group of loons takes down the final Inferno Tower in a bit, and we're left with like 20 loons up, totally smashed from Gaku. Really great job all the time from this guy. He always gets those triples with some kind of Lalo or uh, any attack really. So one bright spot in this war. And here we go with the Queen Charge Lalo in Legend League. I actually was able to find my or the base that I showed earlier in the month for the first time with this Queen Charge uh, Queen Charge Lalo Legend League army. In the CC is I think it's supposed to be Yetis, but I might have <laughs> the Gaku attack usually has uh, Yetis in the CC, but I think for this attack I had Loons. Yetis provide a lot of a lot of versatility with attacks in Legend League, so that's why almost every attack, no matter what it is, is going to have Yetis in the clan castle. Actually, now I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start trying uh, mass hogs with Yetis in the CC, since you could really do almost anything with that CC. You could even use uh, 
a wall wrecker with that CC. And that would be kind of effective. Especially since most of these bases in Legend League have like Town Hall on the outside with like scatter shots by it, so being able to take those down right at the start of the attack would really help out the uh, mass hog portion. Here I'm just trying my best to get into that Town Hall compartment, even though it's futile. The Queen's not going to step in there, but it's really fine because there's no other place on this base where I'd want to use wall breakers since the queen would eventually like walk around and get to that single inferno tower eventually. It's not like protected by a layer of walls. Uh, only from the outside looking in, but not from the side. So now I'm trying to decide which, uh, where to Lalo from. It's going to be from the bottom. It's from the bottom because the sweeper is pointing away. And we're just going to sort of hope that uh, something gets to this town hall. Which is probably going to be the uh, Royal Champion, yeah. So Royal Champion with the free spells are going are gonna to be able to take down the Town Hall with these, if I even need them. So Warden ability over the Inferno Tower and the Royal Champion. Not going to need the free spell for the Royal Champion on the Town Hall. So we can freeze the air defense instead. Cleanup definitely should have been placed earlier, but it's going to be fine because I have the Royal Champion still up. So we're going to take down the rest of the base with uh, Royal Champion stuff. So yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, Lalo is still around. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raze Gaming, and I'm out. Three star. See ya.